Congressman Troy Nails, he's a good dude, we've had him on the show several times, says Kevin McCarthy will not be running again as Speaker. I nominate Donald J. Trump for Speaker of the House. Please. I, 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 Matt Gates did this the first time around. Second it. And, you know, I, I just, I, I don't see the excuse for any member of Congress to, to not go for bold changes but the in D.C. The concern is if someone nominates Oprah and then they win. Like, because it's a popularity contest. Well, and look, all the Democrats uh, are like, we need somebody famous to get everyone to say yes to it. I get that, but Republicans aren't going to play that game. Yeah. And if Republicans have the majority and can win if they just agree, how about the former Republican president? Well, does it only take eight Republicans to side with the Democrats to push someone in? Or nine I or something? I think it's... Uh, five, five or six, I think, even. I think it, it... It's not five or six. I think it was... It might be 11. It's... What is it? I, well, I don't know. I guess my follow-up question is... It might be less than that. It might be six. If yeah. Trump were to take it, you know, would uh, would he still be able to run for president as the Speaker of the House? Mm. Or is that a conflict that of interest? That I don't know. Oh. It's a good question. I don't see why not. Because he's not a member of Congress. He would just be Speaker. I'd be really interesting. And even, even if he were a member of Congress, he could still run for president? You know, I know it's just not reality. But people were talking about a few years ago, like Steve Bannon was saying, nominate Trump for speaker, vote him in as speaker. And then when you impeach Biden and convict Biden and Kamala, Trump becomes, becomes president. president. <laughs> what are the what are the qualifications for the speaker? Like, what are the, the main things you need from that person? Mm. What do you mean? Like uh, charisma? Do you need intelligence? Ah. Do you need like... Uh, Those are probably with favorable, yeah. Connections in business, in the industry? Um, or is that actually a bad thing? Like, uh, so how do you want these people? Do you want them to be like... I, I would say the qualifications, the requirements, not necessarily qualifications, because that implies like a procedural thing, but the the characteristics we're looking for in any leader is going to be integrity, honesty, transparency, to the best of their abilities. I understand we have security issues. Something completely lacking in Congress that, oh, yeah, that, that no one, uh, very, you know, very few people have in there. Matt Gates. Uh, but but I think someone that doesn't uh, roll over on their back and let the Democrats have their way with them. I, th I think that's the first thing. I think anyone that's not a rhino, anyone that's not a neoconservative, anyone who doesn't want to perpetuate the larger proxy war in Ukraine right now, I think this is a larger kind of referendum against Congress failing the American people. Throughout many years now, they never represented the will of what people actually wanted. There was never a public referendum on if we should start a proxy war in Ukraine. There was never a referendum on the debt ceiling. Kevin McCarthy, another thing he did, he made it that the, the Biden administration could print and borrow as much money as they want until 2025. Right now, just a few days ago, the debt went up $275 billion in just one day. It is set to increase to almost $1 trillion in just one month. It just hit $33 trillion billion dollars. America is being destroyed by a lot of the corporate influences that have hijacked Congress. And this is a referendum saying we had enough. Stop it. 